Hey guys, I'm Sweet Nightingale, and as you can see, we're going to be doing some Sims 2. I'm starting a new Sims 2 seri uh, series, and it's a challenge-based series. Uh, a lot of you guys that have come onto my channel uh, have noticed that I've been doing some Sims 3 challenges, but, um, you know, I've kind of missed playing Sims 2, actually, and uh, I do have several Sims 2 LPs going, but, um, you know, I decided to go ahead and make a, a challenge-based one because I just did... Um, I'm doing a just a, a general Sims 2 LP and then I'm doing a university uh, Sims 2 LP which um, I do need to get back into but um, those of you Sims 3 nuts out there know that there were several things that came out and so I wanted to get the series started on those things um, so you know I've kind of sort of put the Sims 2 on the back burner but we're gonna try to get back into it here because I do know that some of you are still some really big diehard Sims 2 fans and so I kind of want to just make sure that we uh, satisfy everybody here. So, uh, as I said, I will be getting back into the Sims 2 LPs that I've been doing, uh, those two series, because those are not done yet. I haven't forgotten about them, I promise. But we're going to go ahead and start a challenge-based uh, Sims 2 uh, series. And so we're going to go, this is going to be the Starving Artist Challenge. And in a way, I can kind of relate to this, <laughs> but um, in a different way. Uh, basically, this challenge is you create a teen Sim and you create an adult or an elder but your main focus is going to be the teen sim because that teen sim has to um, uh, do the, they're going to be the starving artist and they can only make money by either painting or by writing novels. So that's really the only thing they can do. They can't get a full time job. Um, they can have like rewards from school and I mean obviously they can go places but um, the only money that they can make throughout their whole lifetime is through painting or writing novels. Um, and then they have to obviously, you know, um, have, re you know, have relationships and, and uh, you know, sort of pass the torch on to different heirs. You can adopt. It's in a way, it's a little bit like the legacy challenge, but a little different. You can adopt, um, you know, and that will count for your heir. Um, you can also marry, but you can't marry a townie. You have to marry a service uh, NPC, like a service personnel or whatever uh, NPC. Uh, because if you marry a townie, then, you know, they're going to bring in a lot of money and the, the object is to, you know, support yourself through either the, the novels or the, uh, the painting. Now, I decided to do this with The Sims 2 rather than The Sims 3. First of all, the challenge is actually written for The Sims 2. In The Sims 3, it's a little bit easier to do that because you could actually incorporate sculpting and inventing and, um, and all that, painting, um, you know, that, that kind of stuff in with, the, in with the artistic stuff. But in Sims 2... Uh, you only get the computer and the uh, easel because you can only paint or you can only write. There's no inventing. There's no sculpting. Uh, I suppose you could do pottery in The Sims 2, but it didn't say anything about pottery. So um, we're not going to worry about that unless we actually get enough money to get these little extras. But our main thing is we have to get um, we have to get a computer and we have to get an easel. Now, the challenge did say to make your Sims and then move them into a like a 2x3 lot or a 3x2 lot. But we're just, you know, I'm, I'm really not into the building. So I'm going to change that part up a little bit. And we'll just get kind of a small sort of modest house, I guess, and, um, you know, see what we can get with it. Now, it did say that um, you can kill your adult and then the teen is on their own, but I think we're going to make like a grandmother, um, either a grandmother or a grandfather and then a, a teen because, you know, the elders don't last long anyway. So, and the the elder isn't going to work anyhow, so they're not really going to be contributing to the money situation. You know, we'll probably just have them do the cooking and, and so forth, you know, while um, our teen sim here paints. So, um yeah, so that's pretty much what that challenge is about. So, yeah, that's pretty much what that challenge is about. So we're going to go ahead and try this out and uh, see how it goes and see if you guys like it. So anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and now I want to pick um, I want to pick a, a town that I haven't played in yet. Um, let's see, I did do um, I did do Veronaville, Strange Town, um, Pleasant View. I can't remember if I have a, I can't remember if I have anybody in Pleasant View or not. I know I did Strange Town for a featured household, but you know, there's only like six neighborhoods to choose from. I think the apartments in Belladonna Court are going to be pretty tiny. You're not going to really get too much in there. Um, Desiderata Valley. Um, you know what? Let's, let's go to Pleasant View. You know, I've not really, I, I can't, I can't remember if I've played in Pleasant View, so... We're just going to go ahead and go to Pleasant View. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and get this to load. Now, um, I'll go ahead and read you the, the neighborhood thing here. Um, it says here, um, A lot has happened in 25 years, but some new 
faces in town are stirring up rivalries and creating tensions for the 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 once happy families can anything be done to can anything be done to get the neighborhood feeling good again all right so we're going to go ahead and let this load up and uh i know that if i haven't played in this town um then it's going to say adding weather and so forth here so anyway i'm going to go ahead and let this loading screen do its thing and i'm going to get my sims made and i'll show you what they look like and we'll get into a house okay guys we are back now um i had to uh kind of uh do some different plans here i was going to make a grandpa and a granddaughter but um i tried to make an elder but it wouldn't let me uh do the uh, relationship thing it wanted me to make an adult sim so um because we got a teenager so i guess we need an adult we can't have them move in with an elder so anyway um i'll just go ahead and introduce you to this guy here um their family name is landers and i picked that name because my daughter annie has a, a good friend with uh, that name so i thought well you know that's kind of a nice name so anyway this is michael landers and uh, he's going to be our adult sim. Now, we're not going to really see this guy too much because we're going to be focusing on our starving artist. But anyway, we'll just go ahead and go over him anyway. Now, he's our adult. This is his uh, everyday wear. Formal wear. Undies. PJs. Swimwear. Athletic wear. And outerwear. And uh, we'll go ahead and look at his personality and stuff here. Uh, he is a cancer. This is his, um, the, uh, that's his personality points there, right there. So, and then we're going to go ahead and give him the uh, pleasure aspiration. Yep, he's going to go ahead and have the pleasure aspiration. And then his turn-ons and turn-offs is going to be formal wear and jewelry. And then he doesn't like stink. So this is going to be Michael Landers. And I'll give you the backstory in just a minute as soon as we're as soon as we're done here. So now we're going to go ahead and look at, now this is going to be oops. Uh, no, this is going to be our starving artist. This is Marisa Landers. We're going to go ahead and just edit her a minute. Now this is going to be her um, everyday wear. This is our teenager. This is her formal wear. She kind of likes to be colorful because she's an artist here. This is her um, undies, PJs, swimwear, athletic wear, and um, outerwear. Now, she's not going to be too active, obviously, because, you know, she's more into the creation aspect of things here. Uh, this is her personality points. She's an Aquarius. And she has the, um, I believe I put her with the knowledge aspiration yes we have her with the knowledge aspiration and then here is her turn-ons and turn-offs she likes somebody that's a great cook she likes someone that's that's creative Ugh, and she doesn't like should. stink okay so we're going to go ahead and um, edit these relationships here okay so we got to drag them onto here um okay so we're going to be We'll go ahead and make her a child of, um, so the, so Michael actually is going to be her father, it looks like. So, child of Michael. All right, so that works. Uh, we're going to have those family relationships. So we're going to go ahead and get into the game, and I will give you their backstory in just, uh, there we go, <laughs> in just a little bit here. But um, as the screen loads here, um, the backstory is just pretty simple. Um, well, anyway, let's go ahead and get them into a house, and then I'll I'll explain the backstory here. But um, we need to just find them something just really cozy. Uh, they don't really have too much money. All right, might as well go ahead and just move them into here. Uh, move Lander's family into this lot. Cost to move in is 14,372 simoleons. I have no idea what this looks like inside. I hope we got room to fit everyone. <laughs> I really do. It's pretty tiny, but we'll just, we'll have to see what happens here. Okay, so there's the taxi, and we are moved in officially. So, okay, there we are. I'm going to go ahead and stop the, the game here for right now. Okay, we don't have a whole lot of room, but I think I think we can go ahead and, and uh, this will do for us here. But let me just go ahead and tell you their backstory um, as long as we're here. Now, um, it's pretty simple. Um, Michael's wife died, and so he was left to raise Marissa by himself, 
and uh, he was doing pretty well, but uh, he made some bad investments, and so they're pretty penniless right now, and so they lost pretty much everything. So this is why they're having to move into such a tiny, tiny, tiny little house. And um, now, Michael thought that he was going to have a lot of time to be with uh, Marissa to kind of help her out and stuff and to do whatever needed to be done with her, but he actually has a fatal disease, and he's not going to be around long. Now, the challenge means that you're supposed to, you know, do the adult sim and the teenager, and then you got to get rid of the adult sim as, as quick as possible because you're having this teenager kind of live on her own and just be this starving artist and so forth. So anyway, um, now they did say that in order to get rid of the adult, you can use the cheats and just kill them or whatever. So <laughs> we're going to end up having to do that, um, you know, because we can't really have him going to work and making money or anything. So, but uh, we've got... We've got like um, 8,000 uh, simoleons here, so we'll actually have quite a bit to be able to get our computer and a couple of beds and stuff. But So anyway, um, we have to um, get Michael out of the picture as soon as, we, as, soon as possible, um, you know, just to kind of keep with the challenge here. So we're going to say that Michael has a fatal disease and he's not going to be around um, very long. And um, so that's, that's how that's going to be. Now let's go ahead and just look at this house a little bit here. Um, okay, so we do have, we do have a basic kitchen, which is good. Uh, we do have the, the fridge and everything, which we're going to be able to take advantage of. I think we have a fridge in here, don't we? We may not have a fridge. <laughs> I think we're going to have to get us a fridge. Because see, yep, we need a fridge to be able to cook, to cook something. So, uh, we're going to have to go shopping for a few things, but there's the little kitchen that, you know, that we can take advantage of. Uh, there would probably be one bedroom right there. There's a living room. Um, bathroom is here. So we've actually got a bit of room to be able to do some things. We could make this into a little studio for uh, Marissa. Uh, living room here. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and furnish uh, this house a little bit here. And we've got like, I don't want to cheat or anything, but we've got like 8,628 simoleons to work with. And uh, so... I, we got to make sure that we get a computer and an easel. So that's definitely something that we got to get. So anyway, I'll be back. I'm going to furnish, furnish this place a little bit and we'll get into the gameplay and we'll just see what we can do. Okay, just give me a minute. Okay, guys, here we are again. Now I just want to show you what I did with the house a little bit. Didn't add too much. I, we had to put in a dining room table, had to buy a fridge. I didn't scrimp on the fridge because we wanted to make sure that we could get them some good quality food and stuff. Um, there's their dining room table, which is pretty cheap. Added the easel and a desk and a chair. Now, I think we're going to get the computer from Mr. Humble, so we're not even, you know, so I didn't buy a computer. Um, I didn't scrimp on the bed either because, um, you know, we want to, we want to try to get her a good night's sleep and all that. Uh, I did put in a little living room sofa, not really too much or anything. Uh, left the bathroom the same. So that's pretty much all I did. Um, yep, that's that's pretty much all I did. Uh, nothing, nothing real major. But anyway, uh, as to our challenge, um, unfortunately, we're going to have to say goodbye to Michael. Now I did turn on the cheats. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to we're going to go ahead and, and click on him. Now I'm going to left. I'm going to left, or I'm going to shift click on him. And with the cheats turned on, you guys see where it says kill. Um, now you can go ahead and give dead dead token, or you can die by flies. So we're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna die. Yeah. Okay. So sadly. Yep. Yep. Unfortunately, that's what we gotta do. So she's starting out where, where she's not going to be feeling so hot. Starting out where she's not going to be feeling so good here. So, now, uh, there's the Grim Reaper. Here is the, the tombstone here. Uh, sweep. Yep, let's go ahead and sweep it. So, yeah, she's... Not doing so hot here. Practice painting. You might as well go ahead and do that. Actually, before you do that, you should sweep that up. Kind of clean all that up. Oh, poor Michael, you know. Okay. 
So she's uh, not doing so hot right now. She's, uh, yeah. Now here is the urn. Now we should be able to put the urn somewhere. Okay, guys, so we're back now. I just had to go into buy mode and put the grave out in front right there. Oh, gosh, yeah. You know what? You should actually come out and mourn your father. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel so bad for killing him off. I really do. I really do. I feel so bad for, for killing him off, you know, because... Uh, I really do. I feel awful for killing him off. But as to the challenge, you know, you're supposed to, supposed to do that, you know? Really are. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, continue painting. We might as well go ahead and do that now. I think, um, now I think Mr. Humble is supposed to come and deliver us a package. Which is, which uh, he's supposed to be giving us a computer. Now, I think in order to sell these paintings, uh, yeah, I think in order to sell these paintings, I think you just sell it right off of the easel. I think it's a little different than, uh, you know, than, uh, than Sims 3. Okay, so yeah, here is, here is Mr. Humble, I think. Um, yep, Rod Humble. So we're going to get our, our uh, computer. Okay. So why don't we go ahead and have her stop that right now. Let's go ahead and have her, um, whoops, go ahead and have her open this. And then we can set up our new computer. All right. Yeah, I know. I know. It's just, it's awful. Okay, so it says, hi, I'm uh, I'm a member of the local garden club. Okay, so that's the garden club. Uh, the gift from Mr. Humble uh, can is a new computer for you and your family. Okay, so we should actually go into the inventory, I think, and um, get that out. Okay, guys, so uh, here is Mr. Humble's computer. Now we're going to go ahead and put it on top of our uh, desk over here. Let's see. Okay, so that's going to sit on top of our desk right there, and there is Mr. Humble's computer. So, you need to come back and continue your painting. And we'll need to keep an eye on her needs and stuff here, um, you know, just to make sure. Uh, oh, gosh, <laughs> somebody's already at our door. Holy moly. Symology, um, rewards. Yep, so we see somebody down there at the at the door, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, I kind of do that in Sims 3, like when all the neighbors show up and stuff, but we're not going to worry about all that for the time being. Because that's just show, you know, that's just going to be the garden club and all that. Now. Okay, so here is the, the wants and... There is the wants and needs panels and stuff here. So we got to kind of go back and forth between this because it's not. Somehow my resolution or something got messed up. So anyway, here are the, the wants and stuff. Um, gosh, buy a telescope. Uh, she wants to gain a skill point, which, which we're going to try to do. Um, get into the medicine career, which we're not going to do. And we are not going to, um, we're going to, we're not going to get into private school either. Okay, so um, that's all right. Marissa has gained a, a point of creativity skill from the easel. Okay, and I sometimes these things just go so quickly you, you have a hard time seeing. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness me. So yeah, sometimes it goes pretty fast in order to read it, but we'll just see what she does with this painting. And I think you can, like I said, I think you can sell it like right off of the uh, the, the thing here. Uh, okay, so some visitors have arrived to welcome you to the neighborhood. Well, we're not going to worry about that because we're kind of not in the mood to talk to visitors. Not after, not after our, not after our dad just died. Yeah. 
So we've only got like 500 simoleons to work with here. So we're not starting out with very much money, obviously. So yeah, um, we're kind of, uh, we are kind of uh, in a poor situation, but you know, that's how you're kind of supposed to start out this challenge. Now, uh, somebody said like in order to, um, you know, in order to um, really do this challenge up good, um, you know, to kind of cut down on your food bill and stuff to, is to um, order uh, pizza, <laughs> order pizza or Chinese food because that lasts for a long time and you don't have to worry about, um, you don't have to worry about uh, ordering groceries and stuff because that will, uh, you know, that, that can be a little expensive. Okay, Marissa has gained enthusiasm in, um, in, in arts and crafts. She can now read about this um, in the newspaper. Boy, we're still getting people coming to wanting us to visit, but we're just, we're not going to worry about that at the moment. Now, I'm not sure if I got a phone in here. Usually a lot of times it comes with one, but yeah, I think we're going to have to get a phone anyway. Because I always forget that in The Sims 2, uh, you don't automatically get a, uh, a, a uh, cell phone. So I think I'm going to go ahead in here and I'm going to buy a phone. Okay, guys, here are the phones, which we're going to go ahead and get us just a little, a little wall phone, I think, um, up here. Let's see. Uh, go ahead and put that right there. She should be able to get to that pretty easily. Now, I'm not sure if we can afford a fire alarm, <laughs> and I'm not sure if this even comes with one anyway. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a fire alarm, because I don't think that we have one. I don't see one in here. And if we're going to be cooking stuff, I don't want to burn anything down, because that wouldn't be good. You have to call the fire, <laughs> the fire department. Oh, gosh. Okay, so here is, uh, I think it's this thing right here. And so, okay, there we go. Now... All right, guys, we're back. Now, I did go ahead and get the burglar alarm, you know, because, I mean, we just, we really don't need anything stolen. So we're just going to go ahead and let her paint. And um, we're going to have to, we're going to have to order some Chinese food or something or pizza here in just a minute. So um, she's going to start to get hungry pretty quick. Uh, let's see. Um, it's art. Marissa has gained a point of creativity skill from, from the easel. All right. Go ahead and have you just maybe order some uh, order some food here. Whoops. Okay, guys, we're back. I'm sorry about that. Fraps decided it was going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, so anyway, um, I did her first day, but we didn't really miss too much. I mean, she had, um, you know, some people come to visit. We just ordered some Chinese food for her, um, you know, because somebody told me, yeah, that needs to be clean. Somebody told me that, um, or not somebody told me directly, but, ooh, we don't want to eat that. That's that's nasty. Um, we ordered some Chinese food for uh, last night. Let's go ahead and just clean this up. Yeah, that's that's pretty icky. Um, yeah. So anyway, we um, we uh, got some Chinese fo food for last night because some uh, uh, on the challenge board or on the forums, like when I read this, uh, they said that was a little cheaper. So we went ahead and did that. But the only thing is, it, it just um, it's cheaper but it just kind of goes to waste because she had to clean that up but anyway so we didn't really miss too much on that first day we just had her paint a little bit and um we um just had her eat dinner and stuff but we're gonna go ahead and just have her practice um practice painting again until the bus comes for her so go ahead and do that um hopefully she'll get some lunch at school and stuff but yeah that's pretty ew, that's pretty nasty actually clean this up that's that's pretty gross that's pretty gross oh there comes the bus well go ahead and go ahead and just do that later you got to go get the bus yep go to school got to go get the bus we'll come back and we'll come back and uh, worry about that a little bit later that, yep, that's pretty, that's pretty nasty. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and, go ahead and um, clean that up because that's yucky. Okay, guys, I'll be back when she gets done uh, from school. Okay, guys, so we got a message here and it says, uh, 
Uh, basically that she got 200 bucks for getting first chair and playing the drums here. So she's gotten 200 simoleons um, for um, extra performances she will be attending. So that's that's pretty good, you know, because our phone rang. But, um, yep, there it is. But anyway, um, so we're going to have her clean up that one mess and, and stuff here. And then we got a box of Chinese food right there. But anyway, like I was saying, um, Fraps was giving me fits. So we got through the first day. We didn't really miss too much. We just put up Mr. Humble's computer, had her paint a little bit, had her order some food. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. Had her chat with someone because her fun and social was really going down. Uh... Yeah, environment, and the phone is still ringing. Um, let's see. Now here's some wants. You know, she wants to gain, um, she wants to reach creativity level three, which we're going to try to do. We can lock that in. And, um, okay, so it's, so we got a chance card. Oh, object error. Uh, reset. Oh. How come we got an object error? Okay, reset her, I guess. Okay. So here she comes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and clean. Uh, we need to clean up this mess here. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and eat this. And then we've got this this other one over here that we need to clean up. It's on the floor. Yuck. So eat that, and then we're going to go ahead and clean this one up. So, oh, come on. It would help if, there we go, clean it up. But yeah, she wants to, she wants to gain creativity level three. Uh, she wants to um, uh, buy a telescope um, and she went, she wants a telescope costing at least 500 simoleons. Um, get into private school. We could try to do that, but you know, we'd have to impress the headmaster, which would be kind of, interesting but then you got to pay for the private school so that's probably not a great idea <laughs> that probably is not a great idea at all and she does need a bit of social so you know she's kind of you know so she's kind of uh yeah Still low on social. And I bet you she probably left her homework on the ground, which we're going to have to go and try to find. We should recycle the newspaper. And now I forgot in The Sims 2 that you cannot, uh, that you cannot, um, what you call it, um, that you can't cancel the newspaper. So we probably should go ahead and get the mail. And who's this? Don't know who that was. Somebody was sniffing like going, ew. Okay, we need to try to find our homework because I always forget that they always put the homework down somewhere and then you can't find it. Okay guys, well we'll have to try to find the homework a little bit later, but yeah. So, go ahead and clean that up. We should get like an indoor garbage can too because, yeah, that's, that's pretty yucky. Yep. Go ahead and recycle that. Now we're going to go ahead and, and practice our painting. Yep, get the mail. And we probably should, should uh, pay the bills because we're probably... Yep, we're probably going to have to pay the bills. Hopefully she won't drop them anywhere. Go ahead and practice painting some more. Anyway, guys, really not too much to say while she does this. Uh, we pretty much did this on the first day. Now, um, she did have pretty low fun and social and, and stuff. So it's uh, really um, <laughs> hard to kind of keep that up, you know, when you're kind of alone. So we're going to have to, you know, go a couple of places too and just, um, you know, just see what we can do. Uh, at least her hunger bar is full. So that's a good thing. 
but they dwindle so quickly. They dwindle so quickly in the in the Sims 2, it's crazy. Uh, pay bills for 74. So at least she puts them on the desk when she brought it in. Okay, so we're going to put that on speed 2 while she paints that. Oh, of course, and the phone rings. And we still got some nasty flies around here somewhere. Yep, this has got to get cleaned up too. That's that that's pretty yucky. Okay, clean that up. Ugh, with the phone ringing all the time and we should just put this on silent mode. We really should. <laughs> Because, you know what, if memory serves me correctly in The Sims 2, and it's really proven my point, is this phone rings constantly. It really does. It rings constantly. We're going to go ahead and clean that up. Pay the bills. Yeah. Answer the phone. Okay, so, uh, hello, you have been selected to try out our new magazine. Would you like to subscribe to the art and craft magazine? Oh, yeah, you know, she'll, she'll enjoy that, I think. So, uh, that's gonna, thank you for your subscription. Your magazine will be delivered once a week. Okay, so that's gonna come in the mail. So, we're gonna go ahead and have you practice some more. Continue practice. Oh. Can't tell if she was excited or mad, <laughs> but okay, there we go. So we're going to practice a little bit more. We do have to get some social too, because look at that. It's, it's really going to go down, really is going to go down, but at least we can try to get something done. And, um, you know, that's going to give her some creativity points and stuff right there. Uh, it's art. Marissa has gained creativity skill point in, um, from the easel. Okay. Very cool. And it is summer. Or, actually it's fall, so we got like five days left in fall. And then it's, then it's gonna be, um, Okay, where are you going? Okay, gotta pee, I guess. Always gotta pee. These guys really gotta pee all the time. All the time. Get back over here and continue practicing. This is probably gonna have to need to be clean, too. Although when you're a starving artist, you kind of really don't, uh, <laughs> you kind of really don't care about, uh, cleaning too much, really. But then it, but then it breaks, and then you gotta, then you gotta fix it. All right. Okay, so we're going to put that on speed three. She's still kind of, uh, oh, I wonder what she's going to paint. It looks like a, not really a portrait, I guess, but she's painting a likeness of someone. Just kind of, it takes them a long time to do this in Sims 2, a lot more than it does in Sims 3. Oh, gosh, I think uh, Michael's outside. <laughs> I thought I heard a ghost or something. Yep, I think I I think Michael's outside. Uh-huh. Yeah. Look at that, guys. The the Yep, there's Michael. There's Michael right there. He's he's doing our he's doing his ghost thing here. And I don't think she can interact with them at all. Now, um there would be there would actually be a way of resurrecting him if if uh, you know, if you wanted to. Um but uh, you're, that's not really what, what you're supposed to do in this challenge. But um, yeah, so there's Michael and 
I wonder if he's going to try to scare her or something. Who knows? But, yep, we'll just, we'll have to see. But he is definitely out there. Okay, so uh, Marissa has gained enthusiasm in arts and craft. She can now browse the web for sites relating to this hobby. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is definitely a likeness of, of someone here. Okay, so it's art. Marissa's gained a creativity skill point uh, from the easel. So she's actually going to get, um, gosh, you know, she's actually going to get this pretty good here. Uh, be safe from death. <laughs> um, reach creativity level five. Okay. Uh, see a ghost. Get into private school. We're not going to worry about private school, but dang, you know, she could see a ghost with Michael running around here. Yeah, I felt really, really bad for killing him off. I really did, but really, really did. But she's getting pretty tired, so we're gonna have to get her son off to bed. So go ahead and go ahead and take your shower, and then we're gonna go ahead and go to sleep. Sleep in underwear. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, she wanted to see a ghost, so you need to uh, you need to you need to see your ghost here. I don't think she can interact with him, but yeah, um, go ahead and. So he's gonna kind of float like in the in the house here. Take your shower, uh, sleep in underwear. Yeah, he's, he's going to freak her out. The ghosts make such weird noises in The Sims too. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end uh, part one here. And um, I wish we would have had a lot more footage, but I kind of missed a lot of in the first day because of the... Um, Gosh, get out of the bathroom while she's taking a shower, dude. But, uh, yeah, we kind of missed some of the first day uh, due to uh, Fraps not recording. So that kind of uh, messed me up a little bit. But um, go ahead and go to sleep. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is pretty much what this challenge is going to be. You know, painting and writing books. And um, I think in the next part, though, we'll, we'll see where we can, we'll see if we can go somewhere. Because, oh my gosh, look at that social. We'll see if we can actually go somewhere and interact with some people because, uh, otherwise we're going to get, I think we get the social bunny if, if that thing, uh, goes down too low. So, uh, anyway, you guys have a fantastic day. I hope you'll enjoy this series. Tell me what you think of it. And if it's something you want me to continue, I will, um, you know, just tell me uh, one way or the other or whatever. So, uh, have a fantastic day. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Uh, hit the like button. Um, I really do appreciate those likes. Uh, give it a big thumbs up uh, and we'll talk to you guys all later. Bye guys.